Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments, I'm going to just use your initials, and uh, I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons, and you are CK, and I just read your integrated writing practice test for uh, my TOEFL class, and you know what? Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. I think... Uh, you have a complete, accurate response to the information. You understand what the main points of the reading and the listening passages are, and you are able to explain these ideas. In addition, you have a pretty clear pattern of organization. For example, in paragraphs 2, 3, and 4, you explain the main points in the reading passage along with the counterpoints according to the lecture. You're able to put those together within the same paragraph, point by point, and it was very easy to understand what you were doing, so that's good. Now here's one of my suggestions. One has to do with the introduction. So in the beginning you say the reading passage illustrates the negative aspects of homeschooling, and particularly, you want to say here, tells, not tell, tells the difficulty of social interaction with their peers. When homeschooling is under the conduct of unqualified parents, and it could lead to train the concept of time. It could be hard to train the concept of time responsibility. On the other hand, the listening passage claims the benefits of homeschooling. So the problem here, you didn't actually include the third point. If you, if you want to include, for example, social interaction and then unqualified parents as being negative aspects of homeschooling, then you have to include the third point is that students cannot learn responsibility and punctuality if they're at a home school because they're not bound by the same rules that kids have when they go to school. So you left out that one idea so it made that, that introduction a little bit awkward. So other than that though I think you had a very clear organization so you had pretty good control I think of your grammar and your vocabulary there. Okay so if we if I look at the rubrics here, uh, let's take a look. So, I think you're going to score pretty well. I'm going to give you 4.0 out of 5, or 25 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. So, very solid writing on your part. Now, for the purposes of our class, a 4.0 this is going to put you at about 88% on this particular assignment. Alright, so anyway, I enjoyed reading your essay. You're a wonderful student. Uh, you've had a lot of great questions and good feedback, I think, in my TOEFL class. So keep up the good work.